because there are so many people that aren't in this word every day. They, they, their faith is based on secondhand knowledge. It's not based on firsthand knowledge. And until you get in the word every day and you open this book up and you start reading this word, this bread of life, this manna that falls from heaven every day that God gives us, this, this word of God. When you start getting into this word every day and you start, you start reading it for yourself, um, things start to change in your life. You start seeing, um, I'll literally have a conversation with somebody and the next day or even that day or two days later, I'm reading about it in the Bible. I'm reading about where did that come from? And I'm telling you that God speaks to us through this word. When you get in this word each day, um, a couple things happen. First off, he does truly speak to you through this word. Um, the other thing is, is it's like driving through the fog, right? You drive in, your car's dry, and you, you, you see the fog, you can see it coming, but you drive through the fog and you don't know how long you've been in the fog. You just keep driving, your windshield wipers turn on, you know, and eventually you see some water, you, see, you, you start getting wet. And then before you know it, you drive out of the fog and you don't even realize you're out of the fog for a while because you're so focused on like paying attention, driving and through that fog that you realize, wait a second, when did the fog lift? And where did I get wet? <laughs> so that's what the word of God does. So when you get in this word every day, it's going to be real hard to have a conversation with anybody that you're not able to bring up this word. And so that leads me to the topic tonight about faith, because faith is something a lot of people have but because they're not in this word every day and most of their knowledge came from grandma, aunts, uncles, moms, dads, friends, um, maybe maybe a YouTube video, maybe a, a sermon that they went to. They go to church, you know, on Christmas and Easter and, you know, a couple days, a couple days a year and they and they carry that with them. But they never truly get they never drive through the fog. They never get wet. They never get wet with the word. And what happens is, is they they have faith, but they but it's not it's not true faith because they think that they they've done something wrong then and that they they're not going to get into heaven. They've done something wrong. They they believe the story. You know, they went on Easter Sunday and learned that he he rose from the dead. Right? He has risen indeed. Right? And, and they they know all oh, yeah Jesus you know God incarnated as man um, the Father Son and the Holy Spirit that walked on this earth and he died for our sins as a living sacrifice for our sins his blood washed away our sins on that cross and they buried him in a tomb and on the third day he rose from the dead because in his ministry he told everybody if you tear this temple down I can tear this temple down and build it back up in three days. And of course they didn't realize it was this temple, his body. And so he did that. He raised it back in three days. And people understand that story, but they don't understand what grace is. They don't understand that. Yeah, they don't, they, they don't understand Matthew four, right? They don't understand Matthew four, verse 17. From that time on, Jesus began to preach, repent, the kingdom of heaven has come near. They don't realize that repentance, that repent, they got to repent from their sins. They have to turn from their sins because they might not outwardly sin. They may not, they may get those sins in their, in their mind, in their thought, uh, and they may not act on those sins, but they know that they're thinking it, right? And so they think that they're just a bad person. And, and there's a lot of people out there and there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who have faith and they believe it in Jesus. They believe that he died on the cross and they believe that he rose from the dead all for their sins so they can be forgiven to get into heaven. 
but they don't understand that through repentance, through active, you know, active repentance and reading this Bible, that they can turn away from their sins, turn to Jesus, ask Jesus for forgiveness, truly be sorry for their sins, truly want to change, and then go forth and sin no more. Uh, they don't realize that this then starts working on them. It starts working because it's the thoughts that usually cause people to think that they've lost their salvation. So when they can get in this word each day, when they, whenever they can actively repent from, you know, you're about ready to say a cuss word, right? I'm sure all of us have been there, maybe even today. Well, repent of it. And eventually what happens is true repentance, which is a true changing of the mind. It's a true changing of your heart. It's, it's a walk of faith at that point.